Hi everybody, it's time to do a little dumpster diving. No big chit chatty preamble, we're just jumping right in. Dumpster straight ahead. Bam! Bana! Here we go. Please, please, please. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Ooh, those bananas look fabulous down there. And we've got avocados and mozzarella cheese and it's been nice and cool overnight and it's nice and cool out now got some stuff there in the back all right I think it looks like a jumping in kind of a situation gotta be quick I know there's some eggs in here so I'm gonna try not to step on them all right Mushy pepper, get rid of the bad pepper, bananas, peppers, oranges, cheese back in the box. There's like a whole crate of raspberries and they're all like moldy. See if I can yank this box out of here. Look at that. That is a mess, but there's still some good eggs in there. You're a good egg, Charlie Brown. Ooh, pineapple. I wonder if that's still good. Pineapple gets a little fermenty. These two boxes are good enough for me. All right, time to climb out. Get back in. You should see the technique of me just flopping my leg up over the side of the dumpster. It's so cute. Okay, here we go. Oh, ta-da. Okay, dumpsterinos, here's my little personal theory about climbing in and out of dumpsters as the years go by. Because sometimes I think, what's going to happen when I'm 85 years old? I, I, I mean, I'm not saying 85-year-olds can't be spry, but you don't picture one being able to easily jump in and out of dumpsters. But here's my theory. If I continue to haul my big old butt, and yes, it's big, and we don't need to discuss that, but it's pretty... Just whatever it is, it is what it is, and it is. If I continue to haul it in and out of dumpsters on a regular basis, then there should never come a day where I don't have the strength to do it or I'm not limber enough to do it, you know? If I do it on a regular basis, it should keep me in proper dumpster diving form. Just like if you make sure you go up and down stairs every day, why would there come a day where you don't have the strength to get up and down the stairs unless there's an injury? Can you imagine the day, oh my God, it brings a tear to my eye, the day that we look back on and say, that was Frugal Mommy's last dumpster dive. She never climbed in again. She just got too old. I mean, that's sad, isn't it? Oh my God, what a loss to our culture. You know how, you know how sometimes animals have a sense that they're dying and they'll kind of crawl off somewhere and die in private and quiet, like under a bush or I don't know where they go, but I, I don't they do that? Maybe when I'm like 105 or so and I just sense my time has come to an end, I will go to the dumpster and climb in and not climb out and that will just be a fitting end the dumpster mommy's life and freaking frugal funeral i mean no expense burial right there all right dumpsterinos we're home from the farmer's market so let's take a good look at all that fabulous fresh free produce i got two packages of corn the pineapple spears two packages of mango spears 
A bag of shredded mozzarella cheese with the best by date of January 26, 2021. I'm guessing somebody was going to buy this and didn't buy it and left it in the wrong place in the store maybe. So they didn't know how long it hadn't been refrigerated. They chucked it. It looks a little melty, but it doesn't look moldy or anything. I mean, I've seen shredded mozzarella in nice grocery stores already moldy in the packages. You just never know what's going to happen with cheese, but this looks fine. I found three bunches of organic bananas and several quarts of strawberries. I picked out the good ones. They're sitting in their vinegar and water bath. How many people think of Saturday Night Live every time I say vinegar and water? Two big bags of oranges. Here are all the rescued eggs, a perfect dozen and a half. We save the styrofoam or the cardboard containers when they're in good shape from other packages of eggs. So when we rescue eggs with very compromised packaging, we can wash them off and have a nice new container, or at least clean container to put them in the fridge. We got your apples. We got your green pepper. We got your plain bagels. And best of all, four bags of mini avocados. There they all are in glorious avocado splendor. I splendor. I cut one up to show you. It was good inside. Okay, frugalises and dumpsterinos. Frugal Daddy and I are now going to test the mango spears and the pineapple spears to see if they're okay coming out of the dumpster. I'm going to do mango because its best by date was yesterday. I thought I'd have Frugal Daddy do the pineapple. Its best by date is four days into the future. So I thought you had a better chance. Uh -huh. Is that survival of the fittest? That's the giving kind of gal I am. Okay. First, let's smell the fruit. It smells fine. Mango spears from the trash. Oh, man. That smells... Fabulous. Like, just beautiful, fresh pineapple. Yum. I'm thinking tropical smoothies later on would be a delight. Do you want to do this at the same time? Like, do one, two, three, and then yes. eat the dumpster fruit? It's just, you know, the thing is, it's because it's cut up already. If it had its skin on it, it's like a no-brainer. But just because it's cut already, then... Okay, one, two, three, bite. Not so good. Mine's a little fermented. But you know what? The groundhogs, the groundhogs are going to love this. You want one of mine? Yes. Clean your palate? Yes. We are hurry. Actually, no. I have a dumpster strawberry that I will go ahead and try. Tell me that doesn't look perfect. Not that one. No, it's good. It's good. Oh, man. I'm good. Makes you wish it was cold. Or... We have a fridge. It could be. Well, this was a great farmer's market produce type haul plus the fresh eggs. A happy, happy, happy day. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. And... I did. You enjoyed the video? You got the pineapple. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you again That's soon. An extra bonus. I'm sorry. It was funny. Before we go, Frugal Daddy and I wanted to give a special happy birthday shout out to Susanna DeToy, who's watching from the Philippines. Happy birthday and hello, Philippines. Until we dive again, everybody, you guys stay safe and happy and healthy and hang in there. Keep diving. Keep jiving, keep striving and flavin', keep cliving and staying alive and keep high fiving.